Hey guys, welcome to the replay. Happy Monday. I am Dion Jewel. I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And today I'm going to be showing you this month's Club Couture transfer. Just trying to pull up my live so I can share it to my VIP group. If you are not in my free VIP group, please comment the VIP down below and I'll be more than happy to get you an invite into that group. I share ideas, information, and insider information in that group. Hey, Millie, how's it going? I am showing the May Club Couture transfer today. And if you like um, lemons and summer, because it's so cute, with all the uh, lemons that they're showing, it's adorable. If you do join Club Couture, your transfer will come to you monthly in this adorable little envelope. And it says, Club Couture, I'm here, let's get chalking. This is our Club Couture transfer. It's called Sweet Lemon Grove, where troubles melt like lemon drops. On the side you have the word home and you have a little uh, squeeze the day that you can use in addition or make a tag or something on it. We're just going to be using this part of the transfer today. I have a charger plate that I'm going to see how it will work. I've never done one before, but we're going to put it on. I've already used my Chocotour surface wax to wax this surface because it is not a Chocotour surface. I want to make sure that it's waxed and um, we're just going to get started. Um, you do want to label the back of your transfer before you remove your silk screen because you want to make sure that you're putting this back on the backer sheet correctly. These transfers can be used 8 to 12 times as per what the company says. However, I know for a fact that you can use them a lot more as long as you take care of them and you're washing them and cleaning them properly. Everything with our chalk paste these are the colors we'll be using, um, Bumblebee and Pesto, with the, oh, and Storm. But with this transfer, you will get Meadow, Bumblebee and Storm. I don't have Meadow, so I'm, I'm gonna use my greenery as Pesto. But you will get three chalk paste singles that look like this, or, yeah, like, well, these have notches, but no, it'll look more like this, because these have notches and that's the old style. You'll be getting some that look like this with creamy, dreamy chalk paste inside. And I'll just show you a little trick. When you do get these, don't open it where it tells you the color. Turn it around, push your chalk back, and open it here. You can cut this off, put, put a little bit of paste out. You're only going to need a very little bit of each color, and it goes a long way. But it's better to put a little bit out first then put out too much and not be able to get it back in a pack in the pack. And when you're done, just slide the rest down, fold this over and tape it. And then you always know what color is in there because you didn't cut your color name off. So that's the best way to use these packets. And they always tell you to knead the packet. Um, and you can see this is really creamy inside. It, it moves. It's great. This new paste is awesome. So, but I'm used, still using old formula paste. Uh-oh, doorbell. Oh, it's probably Madison. Maddie, I'm live. It's okay. Yes. I'm going to open up my chalk pastes. And just get these mixed up a little bit. I used my Bumblebee recently, but the old chalk paste definitely still needs distilled water. Any chalk paste that you purchase now will never really need any type of water in it at all and it's really you're only supposed to use distilled in it anyway even with the new paste if it does start to get dry you can use distilled water only and that's just because it'll prevent mildew if you use tap water you can get mildew in your in your um paste and then it's really garbage you need to throw that out if there's mildew growing in there so you got to protect your investment and use distilled water in your chalk paste 
And I just used pastel the other night, so this should be good to go. I don't have meadow yet, so I'm using the greens that I do have, and this is the closest to meadow. Meadow is much greener. I mean, I have a pistachio, which is the new green, but it's way too bright and way too light of a color. I want something a little darker for the greenery. So with every, with every um, application, other than fabric, you want to fuzz your transfer. So I'm going to take our fuzzing cloth, and if you don't have one, it's okay. You can use a bath towel or a hand towel. This side is terry cloth, and this side is microfiber. We use this side for drying. After you wash a board down, you can use this side to dry the board. Or if you've washed your transfer, you can use this side to dry your transfer if you want to use it right away. This side we use to fuzz the transfer. So I've already cut mine apart. And I'm going to take it off the backer. It's better to roll it off slowly. Then you can grab it and stay in control of it because it's extremely sticky and then flip it over and get a little fuzz on here. Now what you're doing is you're adding a bit of a barrier between the transfer and your surface. And that barrier will help it from sticking too hard to your surface, especially on something like this, which is plastic and glass. It'll stick very hard if you don't fuzz your transfer well. This is also a brand new transfer. So you definitely have to fuzz a new transfer more than you would one that you've used two or three times. But you get a feel, you get a feel for it as you, you know, get used to using the product. So I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to line this up as best I can. My grove is going to be way too large for the plate, but we're just going to go with it. And I'm going to round this up the edge and try to push this so I don't have any bubbles on the edge. That's what's important is, oh, even here is up the edge too. You want to make sure that your transfer is flat to the surface and you don't have any bubbles. And, you know, this is a bit more challenging, this surface, because it is rounded. But, trust me, if I can do it, anybody can do it. And if I get a bleed, which means the paste bled underneath the transfer, I still can fix that. It will wipe off for the most part. Especially on this plastic, it should be fine. So now I've gone around made sure that was all down you know as best i can we'll just keep an eye on it as we go all well, this feels good now we can start chalking our design and i'm going to start with the sweet lemon all this stuff up here first i think i'm actually going to do the lemon first because it does get a little close to the green we have two other tools. We have a multi-tool and we have a detail tool. Now the detail tool has this little micro squeegee on the end. This one has like a half of a mini squeegee on the end. And this also, if you ever need it, has this nice pointy tool. And that's great for getting transfers up when they're stuck in like the corners. So I'm gonna use my multi-tool with the yellow over here to just get this pulled in and I'm, I'm gonna mix in probably a little bit of the green anyway but I'm just pasting it on I'm not really concerned with how you know the where how I'm holding this right now because I'm just getting it through the transfer and now I'm gonna hold it on a 90 degree angle <clears throat> excuse me and um, pull some of that paste off and everything this goes right back in my jar so you can imagine that thin layer of paste really isn't very much. So when you get your packets, you are going to have so much more chalk paste that you can use at any time. Now, I want to just make sure that this is smoothed out because my lines are harsh and you don't want harsh lines. 
So I just wanted to make sure that was smoothed out, so I used my finger to lightly smooth out the lines on the lemon. Just wipe my finger off. And now I'm gonna take a squeegee, mini squeegee, and fill in this. And I'm just covering it, putting a little bit of paste on there, and gliding it onto my surface. And trying not to hit the other letters because I want the rest of that to be gray up there. Because the only color is really right here, I believe. But it's really whatever I want to. So any of that extra is going to go back in. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to blend the end of this a little bit and kind of give it a bit of an ombre because some lemon has a little green on it. Now I'm going to take my squeegee and do my storm. Not sure if I want this line to be green or no, I think I'm going to do storm for the rest. Maybe Let me think about this a second. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the line and storm. Oh, got a little yellow in there. That's all right. I'm gonna lift this section up. I'm sorry, I get quiet when I concentrate. <laughs> sorry. I'm going to do what we call a chalk and peel. And I'm just gonna lift it up from one side, release the chalk paste from the transfer. And you so far, so good, that's what we have. That looks really cute. And I can touch up my line a little bit because I don't like how that line came out, but I can still touch it up. And I'm just gonna hit it with a little dryer. And I'm not drawing anywhere near my transfer because you can melt your transfer. And I'm just going to lightly place this down over what I've done and then reseal this G and make sure all the letters here are flattened back down and my E too. And then I'm going to continue with the with the storm. And I just put a bunch on and then I can carry it across. I was concerned about the um edges a little bit but I think that I think it looks good I'm just filling in and pushing through the silk screen and spreading that around now at 90 degree angle sliding it across and removing that chalk and I'm going to lift it up and release again There is some distressing in the, I do have one slight bleed oh, too. That's okay, I can fix all of that. And it's just because of the, the uh, curved um, plate on the E over here. The O, I don't know, I must not have put it down well enough. So that's my fault. All right, I'm gonna put this back down again. This time I'm going to try not to put it down all the way. And we're going to just do the rest in storm. This doesn't look like it's down all the way. Ugh, I just got paste all over the edge. Whoops. But it's chalk paste. And chalk paste 
is just that. It's made of chalk with water and it's washable. And it can all come off. Take some of this off. I hear a lot of bubbling. I'm afraid to pull this one off. All right, let's see what I did. I'm pulling straight up. Bad, not bad. A little, a little bleed. Now this I'm going to just put back on my carrier sheet for now, and I'm gonna take it to the sink and wash it later. But I do wanna wash in cool water. And I'm gonna take some of my water on a little, oops, it got stuck in there, on a little towel. I have, I have, I have to get a wipey for myself because I got this chalk paste all over me. And I'm just gonna clean up the bigger areas that I have. Uh, where do I have a wipe? Here we go. All right, I'm gonna get some of this. Oh, I just splashed my project. I'm a mess tonight. I got gray, or sorry, storm all over me. That's the gray paste. Got it all over me. But that's me. So see, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I'm going to dry this up, and then we're going to fix up some of those little bit of areas. All right, Siri, I'm not talking to you. Hush. It really came out good. To, it really did, even with these little, little imperfections. It came out good. I'm gonna drop my, close up these pastes. I don't need the green. I don't have any touching up to do with that. Get that closed up. I'm gonna put my yellow away. that closed up now the storm I need so I'm just gonna leave that open and I need my detail tool so now this is where this little handy point comes in because now I can go and take off the bottom here that little nudge I can take this off now this was on an angle anyway so the E, how does the E look, the E? Oh, this really is not supposed to be here. I was afraid that it was supposed to be there. And there is distressing in the letters, I believe. So we're okay there. And the O, I'm gonna come around to this side and just use this detail tool to clean up that O. I always take it off to the side to blow it so it doesn't get on my project. If I need a little bit more closer to something, I'll use a Q-tip and get that little bit extra right off. So I'll just wipe that off. Okay, I think, oh no, I have the bleed over here banner bled a little bit but see how easy that is to clean that up it's a piece of cake I'm just gonna get that just keep blowing it off now if you see at the bottom I, this did not go through. It's on an angle on both sides. It's the angle of the plate. So it was hard. But you can take a paintbrush. You can take a thin paintbrush. I usually wet it. Actually, take that off. I want to wet it with my distilled water. This is our fine mist sprayer by Chalk Couture. This is what I put my distilled water in. And it does give a very fine mist that I can use in my paste. 
Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of the gray, or the storm, on my paintbrush. And I'm going to just lightly connect that line. You know, it's handmade, so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I'm actually very pleased with how it came out overall. I think it looks great. I'm just going to touch up this E a little. I don't like it like that. I think that's a mistake, but I don't know. There is some distressing in the letter, so nobody would notice anyway. It's up to you how you like it. Fill this line in a smidge. Okay. And I'm going to thicken this line up. Again, it was on the angle of the plate. So those areas certainly are much harder to do. And it was a little, you know, a little challenge for myself. But I think it came out great. I'm, I'm thrilled with that lemon. Look how cute that lemon is so cute and the colors of it i think i need another lemon on here though what do you guys think maybe i put another lemon right like on the side now i can if this didn't go through too terribly which doesn't look like it did i can cover my design to protect it and then put place this back down where do I want it? Off to the side a little. And I could just put a little bit of lemon on the side. I don't have to make it huge. Or I don't even have to add the greenery to it. I could just do the lemon. in my jar. I'm going to open up the green. Just put a little bit on my finger. Give it a hint of green. Then the, anything that I over hit, I'm going to take off. And I can just wipe off this excess that I don't want. And there. I have a little lemon tray. Isn't that cute? So this is our May Club Couture transfer. Club Couture is our subscription service that is only $19.99 a month U.S., $26.99 a month Canadian. It ships every month with three coordinating chalk paste singles as i showed you in the beginning of the video this is um comes with storm bumblebee and meadow not this pesto but the meadow is pretty too it's a a pretty um brighter summery green this is more of like a fall green to me but um in any event it comes with three chalk paste singles you get 4.95 flat rate shipping on all orders as a club member and um last month like they had a special the month before they had a special this month they don't have a club couture special because they have a special for all customers this month and the special this month for every customer whether you're a club member or not is called transfer palooza and it's buy three transfers get one free so if you buy three transfers, let's say you buy three B-size transfers, you get a free B-size transfer. So it's a really amazing deal going on for the whole month of May. It's called Transfer Palooza. There is a um, information about it in my on my business page, and I always um, let my VIPs know about these types of sales and whatnot. Um, 
before I even post it to my business page. So if you want to get in my free group and um, get some more ideas and inspiration, I'd love to have you in there. I also run some sales and deals at times. And I also share several more projects that you can do with your club couture transfer. So this Sweet Lemon Grove is being done by everybody across the country and they have, have amazing ideas as well. And um, I will always share additional ideas. So when you do join club, you have so many ideas to choose, that you can choose from and make your own designs. So thank you guys for joining me tonight. If you um, want my details on club, type club in the comments. If you want um, the link for the VIP group, type VIP in the comments. And if you're interested in joining my team, please type team in the comments. This month, um, what, is the, what is the special? Is there a special this month? I can't remember what the special is. Oh, if you were a previous designer with Chalk Couture within the last three months or six months, whatever it is, you can come back to Chalk Couture for only $19.99 US. No starter kit needs to be purchased. You can come back and become a designer in the U.S. for $19.99, it's actually free in Canada. So if you're in Canada and you want to come back to Chalk Tour, you're welcome back for the month of May, free of charge. You just have to go and sign back up. You don't. Nobody has to buy a um, designer kit if you're coming back. If you are coming back within six months of leaving, um, you will have to sign back under the designer that you left under. Or if it's after six months, you can sign up under any designer. So if you have been with me before and you'd like to come back, I'd love to have you back on the team with our awesome creamy, dreamy chalk paste, which is a game changer. Thank you guys so much for joining me and have a great night. I hope to see you tomorrow night with another project. I actually do have our um, new oh, sit and chat, I think it's called. So definitely come check that out. I'm going to do a door tag tomorrow night with that. And it will be probably late because I have a, t a baseball game at 6 Eastern. Pending it doesn't get canceled because of rain. So it will probably be later on after that, maybe like 8 o'clock, 8.30. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.